Hey everybody, how you doing? I'm Christian coming at you with Keeping It Simple where I take complicated financial matters and make them simple. Today I want to talk to you about financial freedom and how you can obtain that financial freedom. Uh, so many people in our society are living paycheck to paycheck, struggling financially, just no inner peace when it comes to finances. So I want to talk to you a little bit about that. John 10.10 10 states that Jesus came that we would have life and have it abundantly. We weren't meant to live in poverty. We weren't meant to live in financial brokenness. And so I'm gonna show you some quick, easy steps that you can take in order to, to gain that financial freedom and that peace of mind when it comes to finances. The first one is pay your bills, right? That comes down to budgeting and writing down all of your bills on paper before the month starts. When you do this, it puts it, it, all, puts it all into paper and it helps other people around you understand it as well. Gets you on the same page. The biggest thing when it comes to paying your bills is you wanna create four walls around you, right? You wanna create kind of a buffer between you and the rest of the world, and that is you're paying your rent or your mortgage, you're paying for your utilities to be on, your food and your transportation. Once you have that and you have that set up, really nothing else can get in and you're protected from everything else that comes, um, comes at you from the world. Next thing you're gonna do is save 50 to $2,000. This is really based off of your income. Obviously, if you make less than $20,000 a year, you're gonna save a little bit less. Um, it's all relative based on your situation, but you do wanna have a little bit of savings so that you have a buffer between you and borrowing money. Third one is pay off all of your debt. Now there's a couple different philosophies when it comes to this. Larry Burkett is kind of like the godfather when it comes to uh, personal finance in today's world. Um, and then there are a couple people came after him, Susie Orman and Dave Ramsey. Susie Orman, she, she goes with the what's called the debt avalanche and that is where you list out all of your debts based off of the interest rate and you pay off the highest interest rate first. Obviously, that makes the most sense mathematically. The second one is what Dave Ramsey does, um, and he does what's called the debt snowball, and that is where you list out all of your debts from smallest to largest and pay off the smaller ones first. What that does is it gets that snowball rolling and it builds momentum and it creates an energy in you to, to attack it and really get out of debt quickly. Once you do that and you've paid off all your debt, then you wanna save about three months of expenses, and that's just a, a little buffer. It's like an insurance policy between you and whatever else might happen. So these are the four steps. Write down a budget, save some money, get out of debt, stay out of debt for the rest of your life. That's really what it takes to gain, get that financial peace. Thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you for watching. It helps us so much when you smash that like button at the bottom of the page. Make sure you subscribe, send this to your friends, and we'll see you next time. Thanks.